What's up guys, Ricky here, back again with my first PC video. Um, my super jank RGB and Airflow setup for the NCXT H1 Mini. So I know there's a whole bunch of products to choose from. You know, everyone was recommending the Natua fans and I just wanted to um, stay with the same brand throughout. And so I just basically went with all NZXT accessories. So I went with uh, two AR, AER RGB um, 140 millimeter fans, a RGB fan controller, as well as a hue light strip. So this is the 200 millimeter one. So for this project, I wanted to address two things. First, I wanted to address the thermals. In a lot of the games that I've been, you know, testing and playing, um, after prolonged periods, I could reach, you know, pretty close to 80 degrees. Um, so, you know, hovering around, you know, 78, 79, 80, sometimes 81, depending on how I'm stressing it. So. With the modifications I made, I have lowered that quite significantly, and I'm now hovering in the high 60s and low 70s. So I'm counting that as a success. Second, I wanted to add a bit of RGB to the setup. With the you know smoke-tempered glass and how compact it is, not many opportunities. Basically what I did is I just added a single light strip to the side right here. Um, it's magnetically mounted. I'll get into that later also. So the whole thing, um, both the fans and the light strip are powered by the RGB fan controller, which I buried up here in this location. So to the right of the power supply, looking from the front of the unit to the right of the power supply, there is a little bit of a void where you know most of the cables get shoved and there is a SSD mounting bracket. So I basically took off that bracket and in that empty space, I put the RGB fan controller. When we spin it to the back, this is where all the fun and performance is. So you can see I mounted the fans to the back of the unit. So they are on the exterior, but you know, when you have the PC up against the wall um, and how kind of thin profile the fans are and kind of the angle in which I'm viewing it, you would never see the fans anyways. Um, you'll notice that the fans exhaust outward. So with the H1 Mini, the airflow basically comes in from the right and the left. Um, it doesn't go out the front because it's tempered glass, so the only escape for it is the back here. I basically added these fans to accelerate that process and help draw more air out. These are RGB fans, so there is an RGB ring which faces inward in which when you peek through the tempered glass, you can kind of see it. It's not much, but it adds a little bit of color and light to the inside. So yeah, that's basically the setup. Um, for the rest of the video, I'll just kind of go over how I wired and put everything together. All right, so now that I got everything up and running, I want to explain my wiring process and how all the connections are led. So everything is centered around this um, NZXT RGB and fan controller, which on the upper right, um, everything is clearly labeled. So we got the LED one, LED two, power, uh, fan one, fan two, and fan three. So the power side, we have the SATA connection from the power supply connected into the fan controller. And then we got a USB 2.1 header going into the motherboard itself. So that's the connections there. Um, we have RGB one and RGB two. RGB one I have leading to the RGB light strip, LED light strip. And then RGB two leading to the fans. So I'll explain that in a second. So the fans get powered through fan one and fan two. So I have it connected directly fan two and fan one. To power the LEDs on both fans, you have to do RGB out into in and then out from here into in. So these can be able to daisy chain since I only have two RGB outs. Didn't take me too long to figure it out. I'm relatively new to this stuff, but Everything's pretty much included, all the connections 
and stuff, especially with the H1. Um, right next to the power supply where you would put your SSDs, um, that's where I am going to shove the RGB fan controller. So it'll fit just in there. So in order to take off the SSD holding bracket, you need to actually remove the graphics card um, to be able to access these two screws um, that hold the bracket up. So I am going to remove them. All right, now that we've removed those screws and moved some of the cables out of the way, this is the bracket that we released. So this is what would hold your SSD drives. Um, and we will just um, pack that away. And then so the NZXT RGB controller is going to then be mounted to that wall there. So I've gone ahead and magnetically mounted um, with the included magnetic 3M sticky tape. And um, that's how it looks. So I've pushed it quite far up so I have enough um, room to pack all of the cables back in there once I'm done. For mounting the fans onto the back plate of the H1 Mini um, externally, so this isn't, there's no room to place it inside. So I mount it on the back so the RGB will actually show through and then make its way through all of that mess. And I know you'll barely see it, but just having a little bit of um, glow there I think would be nice. But so I mounted these to the back plate using um, these nuts and bolts. So it's bolted onto the other side. I'll include the links um, for the nut and the bolt um, in the description. But it works out really well because the mesh grill and um, the NZXT 140 millimeter fans fit perfectly and the nuts and bolts line up with the grid that takes place. Then I'm just gonna kinda have the wires going down the side and then down below the bottom there and then up through the back, give it enough slack to go and reach the RGB fan controller up at the top. So it's definitely jank, but that's what we live for and um, we're gonna get some cooling out of this, which is what matters. All right, so Here's everything pretty much all connected from the inside. Um, as you can see, I bunched all the wires back up into that space. Everything fits super nicely. Um, in relation, the RGB controller is magnetically attached further back to this side. On this side, you can see it um, hanging there. And then these are the three wires going down to the fan. So it's the two power ones and the RGB power one that daisy chains from each fan. So you can see that there's enough slack to kind of push, push up everything there and then mount this back panel back on. Um, for the RGB light switch, or I mean uh, LED strip that I had, um, I just brought the ca cable connection um, from the RGB controller side, which is pointing toward us, and uh, brought it down through here and then um, right here. And then I just have it kind of like a, an L for now. And I didn't use the sticky, it's magnetic, so I just have it magnetically attached to the side rail. So yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs>